What is this? This is very Jeepers Creepers. Hello, my friend. Oh, no, friend. it's not. Welcome to the show. We are friends, aren't we? I've waited for you. I've waited. Yes. So I do hope our time together proves enlightening. Yeah, you're the psychiatrist no slash I'm here dark to pictures you. detective Think fellow of me as your one, guide you? into the unknown. It's exciting, yes, and terrifying. But if you're brave enough, if you let me help you, I can help you. We can help each other. This is the card you found. It is. The fool. I wonder who this is. We all know a fool when we see one, don't we? Innocence and freedom. Or recklessness and risk-taking. Spontaneity. Actions without thought, but the consequences to match. Think. Think, and don't get burnt. I can show you more if you'd like me to. There are secrets out there, you know. Secrets and lies. Paths to uncover on which I can shed light, if you let me. Help me help you. And remember, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Love. See you later, kids. Yeah, Hackett's Quarry forever. <laughs> you know how many hearts are broken on the last day of summer camp? It's like a romance apocalypse. Hmm. I mean, you never know. The universe has a kind of way of uh, working these things out. The universe? Yeah, like the uh, the cosmic. Space gods. <laughs> Space gods. You're I mean, he's trying. Okay, spell it. It's nothing to spell. You know, we're cool. Oh, so cool. We are super cool. <gasps> so she dumped her ass, huh? <laughs> okay, quit it. Hi, Emma. Hey. <laughs> okay, this is, um... You've heard of spatial awareness before, yeah. right? Spatial awareness is for nerds. Uh, be lamb and grab the last couple of bags, will you? Yes, boss. Say hi to Emma for me. You're a bad person. Yes, I am. Oh, okay, so we are in the same place. Um, is this, like, I, I didn't check the time. Who are you? I didn't check, like, the date. I recognize you and it's <clears throat> bugging me. Hey, is that the fellow uh, from the Detective Pokemon film? Detective Pikachu film? Good to know. I think it is. And he was in Dungeons and Dragons, possibly. It looks like him. Oh, we. No, the door. Oh, the lock's gone. Is this flashback? Or flash forward? I really should have checked the date. Oh, I'm stupid. 
Jake, bags, focus. I'm sorry, I wanted to go look at the door. Jeez. Am I grabbing these? Oh. <laughs> Jacob, go upstairs. Jacob, get bag. <laughs> Caitlin moves on with her goddamn life. Okay, okay, I didn't realize that's where the bag was. <laughs> I got confused. I'm sorry. Look how good this game looks. Jesus Christ. Hey. Hey, are you guys gonna help with the bags or what? Oh, um, you know, I was actually just working on fixing uh, the door. It's. Dylan, come it's on. It's broken. Dylan, please. I can't. It's, it's... I gotta get the last bags What's in there. Come wrong on. with this thing? It's just. Dylan, closing. please. Hey, hey <laughs> Cool, thanks guys. <sighs> Dipshit's bolted it? Really? Why do they not want me to get the bag? Or why are they not helping? What is this? 1953. Is that date going to be important? I'm intrigued as to like how much lore there's gonna be here and how much like obvious storytelling there is. Because with the Dark Anthologies, it was like uh, you could kind of find out the story, but it was possible to miss it. Depending on what you did. Ugh. Horror. I hate horror. That's a shame. Because you're going to get some weird Wendigo dogman jumping at you soon. Uh, what is this? What's on the floor? I can't even pick it up. It looked important. What is going on here? Why are they like barricaded the stairs? Bags. Great. All by yourself, huh? Yep. Guess you're gonna have to get used to that. Oh my god, you are so mean. <laughs> yeah, that At was kind of out of pocket. Oh. Okay, here we go. Okay, you're not telling me the whole truth about you and Emma, are you, son? Um. Okay, I'm gonna need you to back all the way out of my business, Caitlin. <laughs> well, excuse me for trying to help. How is making me feel shitty about being dumped supposed to help? Aha, uh -huh, the plot thickens. She took out the trash. What? No. Uh, mm, wait, check that. First, she cleaned the house. Then, she took out the trash. Then, she washed her hands. Bye bye, Jake. Now, she's a trash single, clean hands, ready to mingle. Are you, are you finished? <laughs> oh, I could go all day. I have a feeling, yeah, she probably could, so we should probably try and shut it down. Um. Yeah, no thanks. Man, you're starting to bum me out, Jake. Well, I. Yeah, you know, I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't know. I think he would be sad. Okay, well, at least I went for it this summer. Uh, what's that supposed to mean? Uh, Ryan? Uh, what about him? He's a guy at this camp who just happens to have this whole hot, sexy loner thing that totally doesn't do anything for me at all. Oh, <laughs> plot thickens. So she really just dumped you just like that? Well, technically, no. But, you know, she realized that she has her plans, and um, I have my plans, and it wasn't going to work after today, you know? And today's already over, isn't it? And you didn't want to try, like, long distance or whatever? <laughs> Man, she has got you wrapped all the way around that cute little finger of hers. <laughs> uh... Oh, but, I mean, seriously, come on, she's right. It's just like a... Stupid summer fling. What else did I think was gonna happen? Uh, let's see. Uh, love, stability, engagement, marriage, house, kid, affair, kid, divorce, loneliness, child support, <laughs> visitation lawsuit, <laughs> mm. 
<laughs> Surprise reconciliation. Empty nest. Retirement. Grandkid, grandkid, grandkid. A uh, nursing home. And finally, dying in each other's arms and then being buried in each other's arms like those thousand-year-old skeletons they dug up in Rome or something. That kind of in the ballpark? Oh, shit, I'm sorry. <laughs> that was Ryan and me. Uh, let me see. <laughs> ah, here it is. Yours just says Roadhead. Oh, actually, that's just a generic <laughs> on-man list. The <laughs> facial expressions are great. <laughs> Okay, so are we sure that this old rust bucket's roadworthy? <laughs> we'll take a look. It better be. One more night in the great outdoors might actually kill me. Hey, I'm trying to figure out, like, the dynamic is well, weird. I haven't killed you yet. And you're still pretty pathetic. Hey, shut up. <clears throat> uh, okay, so, um... Total hypothetical, but if I was like a huge asshole and I wanted to break down the van so we'd have to spend another night here, uh, what exactly would I need to do? Well, you'd probably break the fuel line or, I don't know, rip out the rotor arm. And yes, that would make you a total asshole. Okay, and what does a rotor arm look like again? I'm assuming it's, like it's gone. arm that's all rotary. You know, it's under the little black dome with the leads poking out. Jake. You do realize that even if we somehow did get stuck out here, one more night with Emma wouldn't make a difference. Trust me, Chick's made up her mind. Yeah. Sure. Guess we'll just have to find out. <sighs> is he is he just gonna yank it out? Uh, just just steal the rotor arm. At least if you steal the rotor arm, you can then put it back. Whereas if you break something, we're probably not gonna be able to fix it. you right back tomorrow. No harm, no foul. Up here, my dudes. Why do they look like they're up to something? Hey, Jacob. What? No, dude, please. Do, 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 do. Long. Oh, dick! Boom. Oh, oh. Almost at me. There it is. Oh, oh why is he doing that? Oh. Freak. Oh. Ooh, I wish I had some singles. <laughs> freaks. I'm surrounded by freaks. <laughs> oh, thank God. I'm gonna get the whole no technology thing, but take me back, world. You would have thought Mr. H could have, like, charged up our phones, like, a little bit. Nothing's ever your fault, is it? You know, you should really just save it for emergencies only. <laughs> Unless, of course, is being dumped an emergency? Ha <laughs> Ben. Is he Australian? So Australian. Uh, I'm not. I'm tired of making him annoyed. Uh, okay. Well, at least I had a relationship this summer. Ooh, damn! Now we burn. Like, yeah, there's well, literally so much banter between like okay, everybody I mean, at this point. I can't even run, pretend huh? to make him annoyed anymore. Where's everybody else? Why? Why would I know that? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you know stuff I don't. Look, I don't. I don't even know how to respond to that. <laughs> you say, Nick. You're way smarter than me, and you're a super hot stud who gets any cheeky ones. Okay, yeah, keep dreaming, Junior. Hey there, party bear. Status report? We are officially empty nesters. High five up top. Oh boy, you're about to get your phone back, aren't you? Let's go collect our bags and away from this mosquito infested backwoods dump. Doors locked, bags inside. Is uh, Fuck. that by any chance Emma? Yep. Well, it's obvious what we have to do here. Find someone with a key? Shape our destiny. And by shape our destiny, I mean shape our way through this crappy lock and grab our bags. 
Okay. Let's do it. We better not get in trouble. We're I literally leaving. Go. Mr. Hackett's gonna find out. So what? He'll just think it was a bear or something. Have you ever seen a bear in these woods? No, but that doesn't mean they're not out there. Fair point. All right, let's do this. On three. One, two, three! Ugh. All about the power of positive thinking. Why do I ever listen to you? Because I'm always right. Are you sure they're gonna think it was a bear? Oh my god, relax. It's not like we killed someone. Okay, so Emma right, likes well, when we act more like her. Take we another look around, her. make sure we didn't miss anything. Go nuts. That might be valuable a little bit further down the line. It might be a little bit annoying to do, but if we get into a fight for survival scenario, we might be able to have her back. Can't believe I'm actually gonna miss Or her have our back, spring. rather. Why would this place be in the news? A scrap from the local newspaper. Something about a fire. Was it here at Hackett's Quarry? Freak show goes up in flames. Okay. It's weird that they've got like what seems to be two different storylines from the prologue. This is little Izzy's. Like, you've got that supernatural lost in the woods uh, ghosts kind of thing. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> Fucking put that down. Oh, I guess we're keeping it. Let's get you back to Izzy. And then you've got, like, the science experiment man in the basement kind of thing. I mean, if the car's Ready not off? working because Jake sabotaged it, then... Let's do it. I'm sure that I've missed stuff Final. that I'm supposed to pick up, but it's fine. It's fine. Time to let loose and vamoose this caboose. How are you so dramatic? Annoying. Confident. It's just acting. It's what the people want. So you're faking it? I mean, in a way, faking it is just being yourself, but louder. You should try it sometime. You never know who you might impress. No, <laughs> It's too late now anyway. For what? You and Nick? You never know unless you put yourself out there. <gasps> oh, oh, wow! Oh. <gasps> nice steering, Tex. Jinkies. Okay, so... Hypothetically, if I were to put myself out there, what if he ends up being a dud, kind of like you and Jacob? He's actually really sweet. Oh. Then why'd you put it? Summer fling. We're going to school like four states away. I, he gets it. Yeah, sure. Mm. But that's us. You and Nick. She seems like really different. still into him. When you get his handle, hit him up. Oh, I already have his email. It was in the packet they gave to us on the first day. Email? Are you 93? What's wrong with email? Yeah, no, nobody emails anymore. I'm really gonna miss you, Abby. Oh, hold up! Oh, uh, but the lodge is that way. Go right here. Why? Come on, scenic route? One last victory lap around the camp? Do as she says. We gotta keep her on side. Sure, what's the victory? Two months, no technology. That is I quite that was impressive. Nice to be offline. Ugh, I didn't. Plus, my subs need me. <laughs> okay, um. Yeah, sarcastic. Oh, how'd they even get by for two months without you? I will have you know that I have a very loyal and engaged subscriber base. I provide very important and educational advice in the form of entertaining and hilarious video monologues. They rely on me. Oh, totally. <laughs> You're a big deal. Uh, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm sure they're going to be, like, really happy you're back. <laughs> My favorite spot? The fire pit? 
the I island. I need to burp. There it is. That's Sorry. Good, right? Is is that smoke? Should we tell someone? Mm, it looks pretty contained. It's probably just Mr. H burning some stuff before, you know, he closes camp for the summer. Yeah. Speaking of which, we should we should probably, you know, get back. Oh yeah. Worried Nick's, you know, gonna leave without you. Well no, they're probably like all waiting for us. Mm-hmm. Everyone's waiting for us. Everyone, yeah. Nick. Waiting for you. All everyone, same thing. <laughs> They did a really, really good job with, like, getting all the actors to have great chemistry. Ooh. What is this POV? Is it a POV? I don't know. That was hard to tell. The smoke kind of looked white, though, which... Is that Don't not... worry, Jacob. I got you. I got a full tank out? of gas, so... Oh, fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, idiot. <laughs> Does nobody own phone chargers anymore? It, there's no signal out here anyways, dude, okay? This place is like patchy as balls. <sighs> Your balls are patchy? What? No! <sighs> it's okay, I'll just go get some juice from Mr. H before we go. And... Uh, ew. <sighs> hey, Nick! Hey, where were you guys? <gasps> Wouldn't you like to know? Ignore her, please. Let's go. Just gotta get these bags up onto the. Oh, hey, hey, here. Let me um, let me get it for you. I can take uh, care of my own bag, thank you. Are you sure? Because I mean, it's really not that big. She of a can deal. take care of her own bag, thank you. We can both take care of our own bag. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Uh, Abby, do you need... Yeah. Can I... Thank you. Nice, nice. Smooth. <laughs> Dylan's being a good wingman. Hey, has anyone seen Ryan? Oh, yeah, he's probably off being all brooding and mysterious and alluring somewhere. <laughs> I'm here. What were you doing under there? Having a little me party? Uh, I was listening to a podcast, actually. Oh, podcast. Nice. That's cool. What's it about? Um, I'm going to say friendly. Yeah, what's it about? Is it about me? You think I was listening to a podcast about you? <laughs> okay, if he's not getting the sarcasm of mine. It'd be me. Yeah, if there was a podcast called How to Look and Smell Like a Butt. Oh my god, you are so childish. At least I don't look and smell like a butt. <laughs> no, it's, it's a paranormal podcast. This episode was actually about this place, weirdly enough. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. The Wait, what? The what's it where now? What's the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? You don't know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Uh, if I did, would I be asking them ass? Tell her about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Why? Uh, it's like everything that Dylan says Hag so Hag zesty. Oh, stop saying the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? <laughs> it's just this campfire story for the kids. He's like so really calm. There's supposedly no pun intended. A woman who died in a fire a few years back. Ah. She haunts the woods, looking for her lost baby boy. Mystic Meg, fortune like teller, roadshow. Man went up in flames. Or whatever, and, and this figure that floats around, you know, textbook ghost stuff. Some people say that if she catches you alone, she'll try to turn you into her son. Oh, nice. Or kill you, or something. I don't know. It's never really been clear. Anyways, Haga Haggit's Corey. You made that up. It's right here in the podcast, man. <laughs> cool story, bro. Uh, God, look at these faces. Oh, yeah? You got a cooler one? Oh, no, I wasn't being sarcastic. Uh, I didn't oh. 
call it right. Like, no, 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 seriously. Dude, I think it just, he did it sound came out really wrong. sarcastic. No, I you feel like an idiot because I read man. it this wrong. Shit's true. Come on, dude, bullshit. What's the holdup, Hacketeers? Yeah, uh, nearly done, Mr. H. We're up to it. Get those butts in gear. Is that Sorry, fucking... Mr. H. Yeah, the uh, luggage. Shut up. Oh shit! Maybe if somebody What's his face? So much time trying from to press the ladies' ball as ghost stories. You ask. Is it him? Ghost stories. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Oh. <sighs> hey, you still have the van key, Mister H? Well, yes, I do. But you know, <sighs> I'd lose my head if it wasn't stuck on. Back to the office I go. Give me a hand, would you, Ryan? Oh, okay. Yo, Mr. H. What's up, DJ Dylan? Any chance I could get a little charge? I want to have some uh, tunes for the road. No can do. Wait, wait, what? Come on, that's like super unchill. Hey, dude, I'm like the chillest flipping bro in the whole world, man. <laughs> I just need some tunes for the ride, man. <laughs> All right, that's enough. Five minutes? Like, like five minutes, that's all I need, man. You said no, Dylan. <laughs> okay, yeah, I know, but I was just... Okay, okay, Ryan's got a short fuse. Okay. So, uh, Chris, I I'm actually glad we got a moment to talk. Uh, uh-oh. I'm not fired, am I? <laughs> no, no, it's, um, it's just, you know, about the whole thing w with the... Hold that thought, partner. I'm going to have to take this. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, sorry. Hello? Um... Oh, I know what we should be doing. Whether or not it's the right thing or not, I don't know. They're almost out of here, all right? You're cutting it pretty close. We don't want to have... Just hold your damn horses, all right? Everything's A-OK -okay on this end. Bobby and I are geared up. If he's in the area, we'll get him. This is a waste of time. You know it, I know it. No, should I have? He's gone quiet. Probably staying out of the way. Speaking of which, the longer you keep me on this damn phone, the longer it's gonna take me to get rid of these damn kids. Yeah, of course. Adios. Move away from the door. Sorry, I, I wasn't. I wasn't listening. I, I was just. Oh. Like, I mean, I heard. I. I mean, I was. I didn't hear what you were. Saying. We're cool, champ. Just. Come on, it's sorry I pushed you out like that. You, uh, you need a hand looking for the keys? Uh, no, end of summer, busy, busy, you know. Anyway, you were asking me? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it was just the whole animation school thing, what you thought I should do. Right. Y you know, listen, whether or not I should, like, leave my sister with my grandparents since I'd have to live on campus, you know, and my mom's not exactly around, so I wouldn't want to leave Sarah on her own. You know, fam our family's small enough as it is. Well, family is important, Ryan. Dang it. Is everything okay? You got a hot day tonight? Oh boy, if you only knew. <laughs> so, uh, what, what did you need me for? You're one of my favorite counselors, Ryan, you know that. One of the good ones. But, do you know how many calls I get from parents, letter after letter, with these terrified kids that they send home? Huh. I, I didn't realize that. Believe it or not, scaring kids away from sleepaway camp is kind of bad for business. 
So maybe just ease up on the ghost stories? Sorry, I didn't realize it was such a big deal. Gotta understand the repercussions of your actions, Buster. It's a big part of being a counselor, a leader. Yeah. Just stick to Kumbaya next time, okay? What's that? You guys don't do Kumbaya anymore? Good grief. I'm outgrowing my own cliches. Seriously, Chris, what's going on? I just want to get you guys safely out of Dodge before the sun goes down. Um... Why? It's getting dark, Ryan, and it's not safe to drive in the dark. And safety is the first step towards fun. Just give me a minute. Where in the good goddamn are they? Will you say goodbye to Caleb and Kaylee for me? He sort of just snuck off. Well, you'll see him again next year. Caleb works at the scrapyard during the off season, and Kaylee, well, she's still figuring out what she wants to do. She's got her whole life ahead of her. They both just come and go as they please, really. Teenagers, am I right? I actually could have used the help packing up since we were short staffed. Hey, you guys seem to manage all right. But I'll tell them both you were sad you missed them. I unlocked the van, put the keys in my pocket, came in the office. Right where I left uh -huh. them. Let's skedaddle. Make sure they're all ready to go. For real this time. Wait, how did you get your phone back before the rest of us? I never turned it in. You sure did turn it off before you handed it in, Dylan. Them's the rules, you noob. <laughs> I try not to dwell on the past, man. Good, because it's time to dwell on the minivan. Get on with our respective lives. Move it, let's go. What's the problem? Ugh, dude, I don't know. I, I think there's something wrong with the engine, Mr. H. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, dude, it's just like kaput. All right, let me try. What, dude, I'm telling you, all right, it's busted. Well, maybe you're doing well, it wrong. Well, maybe you're doing it wrong. What the fuck, dude? Enough, enough, both of you. Shit, come on, all right, come dude, on. Chill, chill, Let's go. dude. I'm gonna... I told you kids to check everything. We did. It, it should be working. Yeah, well, coulda and shoulda doesn't mean it is, does it? Damn it! Yeah, that's something that, like, he's covering up that he's not happy that now we're caught in the middle of. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, uh, look, it's not that big of a deal, okay? We'll just spend one more night here. No! No! Just stop. Let me think. Oh dear. <sighs> okay. Damn it. You're right. You're right. Yeah. What? Yeah, you're right. Hey, Brian, come here for a sec. What is he doing? Make sure that everybody is inside the lodge for tonight. Lock the doors. No one in, no one out. No one. Got it? Okay. okay. I'll be back first thing in the morning, and we'll get you all on the road. He'll be back to keep at everyone dawn. Inside. 
<laughs> He's gonna be gone until dawn. Yeah, sure. We'll, we'll stay inside. He said Atta stay boy. inside. We're gonna stay inside. It's plain and simple. Clearly he's rattled. For God's sake, keep the noise down! So... What was that about? He, uh... Said to stay inside. That we're not leaving until the morning. Are... You kidding me? Um. Are you kidding me? What are we supposed to do? Well, we should go inside, like he said. We could go inside until morning. Yeah. Or. Or we could do something else. Or we could just go inside. <laughs> no, 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 no. We should really listen to what Chris told us to do. Of course. Uh, who cares what Chris told us to do? He's not our boss anymore. P A R T. Why the fuck not? All right, it seems like the stars have aligned for us, no? Okay, okay, okay. One last epic bonfire blowout for all time. Oh, dude. Fuck yes. I'm in, Nick. You're in. Yeah, I'm in. Dylan's in, obviously. My man. Caitlin? I go where my people need me. Yeah, okay. M, what do you say? Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm in. Mr. Hackett seemed pretty insistent we stay in the lodge. He, he was just trying to freak us out, you know? Like, um, like one of Ryan's stupid ghost stories. Why would he want to scare us? She's got a very valid point. I don't think he was trying to freak us out, Jacob. I think he was really freaked out by something. Jesus Christ. Chris seemed real serious about this, guys. Just say you're in, man. Come on, one last night. Yeah, Not the peer pressure. Know, promised, uh, no, 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 dude, dude. It's all good, all right? We get it, you know? you. Uh, the group is getting bored of Ryan. Me. Wow. Yeah, well, someone's got to give a shit. Oh. You know what? <gasps> I don't even care what you guys do. Oh. I'm doing what Chris <laughs> told me to do. Ryan, come on, man. Wait. Oh, now he feels bad about it. All right, all right, all right. Hacketeers. Party planning committee. Let's do this. Um, Okay, first things first. Nick and Abby... You go get some firewood. Uh, M and I will go to the stores for some supplies. And uh, Dylan, you just, I don't know, figure out how to charge the phones or something. All right, let's do this. What is this? A freaking sniper? Shut up. What is happening? <sighs> oh my god. Are they going to hunt the kids? What does the sign say? Does that say hunting season? Oh my god. <laughs> 